Now, the nominations for this year's BAFTA Film Awards are out and the headlines are an impressive 11 nominations for the sci-fi epic Dune, including for Best Film, along with Belfast and Netflix's Don't Look Up. Lady Gaga is nominated for Best Actress for her role in House of Gucci, while Benedict Cumberbatch has competition from Will Smith and Leonardo DiCaprio, among others, for Best Actor. So... Today's high five is going to all of those lucky nominees. Lots to discuss. Thankfully, we have the chair of BAFTA to help us through it. Krishnendu Majumdar joins us uh, tonight. Really good to have you. Are you here, Krishnendu? Here he is. Yes. <laughs> really good to have you with us tonight. And I have to say, we were talking, we're talking up BAFTAs just on Friday on Five News, and we kind of called it. We knew Doom was going to be walking away with many nominations. Yeah, uh, I think it's a fantastic list of nominations this year. A sci-fi epic, Dune, is leading the way with 11 nominations. And in second place, The Power of the Dog, Jane Campion's uh, period western, has got eight nominations, and Belfast, Kenneth Branagh's intimate autobiographical film set in Belfast in the 60s, it's about his own childhood, uh, has got six nominations. But films like No Time to Die, James Bond, uh, and Steven Spielberg, Spielberg's West Side Story have got five nominations. So you've got a, a real mix, if you like, there. And this is what, when you came on, you came on as head, as chair in 2020, the aim for you was to bring in that diversity, to really shake things up. Do you, do you think you, you've got close to that with the, the nominations this year? Uh, we're really thrilled with the nominations this year. Our aim was solely to level the playing field. It wasn't just to get more diversity into the nominations. It was to make sure BAFTA members saw a greater range uh, and, and uh, different films. So then uh, people have the opportunity for diversity to come through. Mm, talking about uh, Best Actor, the nominations, they were talked about Benedict Cumberbatch. Will Smith, this is his first BAFTA nomination. That is a crime. That, that, that was a wrong that needed to be right, isn't it? I think, I think it's amazing, actually, 19 out of 24 of the performance nominations this year are first-time nominees, uh, which is a, a, an incredible amount of new talent that BAFTA is shining a spotlight on. But, yes, Will Smith is one of the first-time nominees, and we're very, very pleased for that. It's a very competitive category. We've also got Adil Akhtar, who's in for a British film called Ali and Ava, and Adil um, has won a BAFTA in the Television Awards, uh, and now he's been nominated in the Film Awards. And obviously, he's up against Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Will Smith, uh, and Mahershala Ali from um, Swan Song as well. So it's an exceptionally tough category. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. And looking at, at other other studios making it in, streaming sites, if you like, Netflix uh, doing incredibly well. You mentioned Leonardo DiCaprio. That's obviously for Don't Look Up. Yes. Um, this year, I think no one studio has dominated. Obviously, Netflix has a, a big number of awards, but but the other film studios as well, we've really shared out the nomination this year. It just shows how healthy the film industry is at the moment, and it's great that cinema seems to be back in business and people going to the cinema again, uh, and these nominations are an indication of the kind of the strength of and the diversity of storytelling. There's so many different different films. The top three films, you have a sci-fi epic, you have a period western, you have an intimate black and white biographical film. So there's a real wide range of, of genres and, and different stories um, being told. And, of course, you have an audience this year. You didn't have one last year. So much to be excited about. Krishnendu Majumdar, good talking to you. Thank you.